Well, I got a new second gen. I hope the dash ain't cracked. Oh, yeah, it's cracked. Second gens are the most clapped thing since applause. Now, I don't want to diss on this kid because they probably, it was probably their first truck. So, you know, we'll give him a pass. But who thought that blue LEDs were good, a good idea in here? Yeah, they don't, they don't. <laughs> You hop in here at night. You can't see anything. So, you can't see anything. The lights don't even turn on. I gotta click this little fog light thing to even see to go down the road. This what? Who thought this was a good idea ever? It moves sideways. I mean, what? The, what is this? That, that should have never escaped the factory. They added a light. He says there's fifty thousand dollars in mods in this thing. I don't doubt it. I bet there's more, but they weren't very tasteful mods. Roll down your window. What the hell? <laughs> There we go. It looks so much better like that. I wish they would extend even taller. Oh, I hope the dash ain't cracked. Who thought that was a good idea? What in tarnation? I worry about my neighbors more than they worry about me, I think. Seems to be the problem, sir. There she goes. What are they closed? Yeah, I think so. This is my favorite place. Already, it's not even green. They're not going yet. It's not even green, and they're not going. I should run these people over. They're lucky I don't rear end them. Even if you see yes, that dude, that was a pimp and run. Did you see that second gen back there? No. Dude, his wheel wells all rusted out, but the rest of it was mint. He had like really nice, like the upper half of it wasn't rusted. That was the nicest second gen I've ever seen. What is up with this guy? The speed limit's 30 and he's going 60. Get out of the way. The road is for moving forwards. Oh yeah, you want to flip me off. Must be nice to get a new Mopar. It's like a V6. Yeah. Must be nice making that much money at work. I, I barely make it by. This is all I can do to save up enough money for the second gen. This truck cost me $4,000. I'm thinking about selling it like 30K OVO because I can put like 80K in mods into it. Boy. Is this all they got? You don't have any more bush? No, there's not enough. If y'all are looking to get some lift kits put on your second gen, go to my friend's shop. Um, I can be going 95 and my wheel is dead straight on the road. Like really good handling for most second gens. Like All other beer is garbage. It's only bush light. It tastes like solid eagle piss. <laughs> Literally the grossest beer that exists by the way. I have no clue why second gen owners like this, but it's all that they like and they don't like anything else. They'll talk crap on everything. You want a bush? You'll go to a, a truck meet, which is <laughs> around here. That's lingo for let's meet up and wrestle naked. I made the mistake of going to one of those once. Sounds like a man orgy. Trust me. I, I know it sounds bad. They call them truck meets around here. But you get a lot of that around here. You know? Looks a lot like that field there. You go to a party. Expect a field of heifers. Let me get this. Where'd you get all this oil? Corbin! Corbin! I don't think he's hearing you. Bush fight. Oh, not bush good. light. Oh, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! This is freaking war, dude. Wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> 
At first glance, this looks like nice paint, right? And then you get closer and you see there's like chunks of sandbox sand in there. Now in the light, this looks the most terrible thing you've ever seen. And in the dark, it looks like the most terrible thing you've ever seen. It rarely looks good. It's supposed to sparkle like that. But what it comes across looking like is just a bunch of cocaine splattered all over it. They didn't mask anything. That's one thing about the second gens. I was wanting to remove this one and get a fifth gen. But those bumpers, the bonus about the, the new Cummins bumpers is that they come down to here. So they're, they're like four feet tall. But the problem is they don't fit quite right. So I'm going to have like a good six inch gap, which is fine. You know, you won't see it in pictures. Or Who thought this was a good idea? Who done this? Now, I'm not going to name any names, but Joe Schmo from Alabama told me that there was no problems with his truck. Look, I didn't even see this. Oh, that's... What the fr Now, in a second gen owner's mind, this is... That's oh, clean. I mean, rust free. Oh, that actually matches quite well. No, it'll, it'll be sell. fine. Make prep sure. work is key when you're doing these lift kit jobs. Prep work, you want to prep it good. I mean, I'm flexing out there. I mean, I think when I get home, I'm going to post a motivational quote about like flexing and money. Like it took a lot of hard work to afford this. Not, not anyone can do it. You got to have motivation. You got to be ready to go and put in your work. I had to weld that on my own because it broke. So I fixed, it was welded really bad, but I fixed it oh up here, God, those are amazing. up there. I fixed that because it broke. So I re-welded it. Um, I put, I put all this bracket on myself. I had to undo the motor mount. So there's only one motor mount holding it on, but, oh, and look, I did this. This truck was in a magazine, by the way, guys, a uh, cover, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it on a cover? I think so. This truck was on a magazine cover. I got up to 460 followers. Everyone's going crazy over these trucks. I'm gonna caption this like flex too go, hard. Flex too hard. Drip too hard. If you get like part of your finger in there, and you're gonna want to get as low as you can. So you wanna get you're gonna wanna get lower than your standards. Show the color match steering. Be a nice video. Oh uh, yeah, we'll add some rap music to it. Feel me here, get this, get this. I'm driving down the road and I see this protest, right? There's like at least, and I'm not even exaggerating, like 950 small women and children lined up in this protest. You know what they were protesting? Saving animals. So what I did, <laughs> you know what I did? I'm a farmer. I plant crops. My plants make oxygen that you breathe. I'm the one that pays for your food. I made your food. So to, if you want to tell me to save the environment. Yeah, All the 
like like women and children went scattering with their little their pets and all the families. They were sitting out. They thought they could eat, they could eat lunch out in the park in a peaceful like way. They weren't even bothering it. They bothered me. So there wasn't a protest. They were just eating lunch. Did we get everything? Yeah, I think so. Yep. We cover all the points. Yeah. Uh, everything I want to get out of the way before we do our thing. Let's see. Uh, Mint second gen. Yeah. Mint. Yeah. I uh, color match the suspension. Yep. Talked about um, bush light. Flexing. The bush flexing, light. Flexing. Because iced uh, out. the tow mirrors. I cracked. Crack dash, yeah. The um, douchebag. I rolled coal on protest people that were Don't blocking agree with the you. roads in my way. People that exist. Um, how I'm a farmer, so I support the environment right. more than people actually paying like to support it. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. This is probably the worst mess we've caused in a while on our road, but I'm in my driveway. Oh, we are sweeping it up. America should be about putting on a good attitude for everyone, not a cocky douchebag bad attitude. Because as much as you want to think that America is just rolling coal everywhere and doing whatever you want, America doesn't mean you can do whatever you want no matter what. Because there's different personalities, okay. So you gotta be nice 